Okay, uh, June 11, 2003, about 11, 11 p.m. 500, we're going to start now. It is really red on the bottom, more purple on the top. The video camera has it really much more accurate. That's five amps. Going to a hot spot on the control station, so centered on the control station side, which is now fluffing out a little bit. Five amps. Just under 100 millitor. We have many striations here. Large bubbles. One, two, three of them. Big distinct balls in here. Running a four and a quarter amps, 90 millitor. It's trying to uh, hyperextend itself with a large striation. These are stationary striations. Very broad, not very well defined, but three definite balls in there. Fairly stable at about four and a half amps, 90 millitor. I don't want to strike it any harder and screw this up. Three distinct balls are formed in there. Large striations, rounded stri striations, but never less striations. There is contact between them, however, I can see a little flutter. There's a space clearing now. A four and a half amps. 85 millitor. The pump's holding up with this beautifully. I let a little air into the tube. Burned off the red almost immediately and now I have this. Also the red zone you see the red zone you see, this is significant. The red zones you see at the top and the center of each of the three baller striations and at the base are not actually red or pink. They are a whitish gray. Not steel gray, but a whitish gray. The video camera is holding Slightly truer color representation, but except for the red, the color is correct. Still holding at the same pressure, about uh, 90 millitors. Videotape has this as well. I have a well defined. Uh, A 
I'm going to walk around here a little bit. I do have the switch in my hand. Holding about 425 mils, 90 millitor. There's a round, soft, low region, a ballless region on the un on the outside. In other words, the uh, the tube wall side of the screen, which is under the dish, runs vertical under the dish, and that is. whitish in color. The camera is interpreting the brighter regions of white as red. The VCR, however, has the colors pretty true. I'm going to walk around a little bit more. Get in Probably kicking out all kinds of UV on me. But those little ball regions you see, ignore the very top one, but the three large 18 inch diameter or so ones, 14 inch diameter, those are real, although they do not have a red center such as the computer is seeing. The videotape has it accurately. I'm going to do up the power a little. We're holding about 90, 95 millitor. Going to 6 amps. The balls are delineated. I'm going to see if I can back that off and get those balls back. Ah, I lost ignition. Okay, the tube is actually slowing a slightly purplish blue haze. The computer is seeing it as white, but the monitor of the VCR is seeing it accurately. I have to back down. I'm going for more fresh air. We're definitely burning the oxygen out of this. Okay, I just put the stopper in with the valve open. Got some fresh air in there. Showtime. Probably going to get all kinds of red, yeah. That red is for real. Four ramp strike. That red is for real. The purple, however, is and the blue is not. The VCR is tracking reasonably close color. It's seeing a little blue in the white region too. But there is some there. Pushing the comet a little higher.
sitting at 5 amps now. Let's see if I can back it up just a scope. No, it fluttered. Strike. Overload. Overload. It's ionized. Colors are fairly representative, except there's not as much blue as you see. And now it's at four amps. I have to put my UV glasses on for this crap. Flutter at the top. UV glasses are on now. Four amps. So migration of the balls on the uh, screen and dish area. A little oscillation on them. The tube is reflecting this activity. Four amps. 120 millitor. Fluttering activity again near the base. Turn up the power and a flutter goes away. Uh, maybe I can get a strike. Yeah, I'll overload. Mighty Melator, but I think I can make a strike. Yeah, four amps. It's referring to the region where the screen is. be staying out of the vacuum chamber inlet anyway. The double screen did the trick. Just as well I didn't want to cook that gasket. That O-ring. Four amps. Up in the power to four and a half. A little flutter at the top. Except for that touch of blue, somewhat of a representative color here. I'm trying to put some heat to a couple areas on the dish. I do have some fuzz. Except for that little bit of blue near the top, that's a more or less accurate representation. Although the VCR is seeing that a slightly hazeous blue. I balanced out the camera colors on the uh, computer a little bit better. I also put the color and light levels on automatic. I am getting an accurate yellow depiction I noticed in the picture though. 
both computers have, uh, both recorders have that. Uh, Pressure is at uh, 35, 135 rather. the overload in the fifth. The diodes are perceptibly, perceptibly warm at 5 amps. Continue. Safety's off, goggles off, terminate video.